Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, a member of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and I'm excited to share with you today. I've been really inspired by the paper that's in the new catalog this year, and one that really has caught my eye is this Press Petal Specialty Designer Series paper. It's $14.50, and the cool thing about this paper is you get 24 sheets. 24 sheets, so that's double what you normally get in a package of, of designer series paper. Um, there's four each of six different designs. So it's a little bit thinner than our typical paper, but it's so pretty and it just really caught my eye. So this is the piece that first caught my eye. I love how there's just these different pieces that um, you can just put on a card and the work is already done for you. Um, and it really inspired me to make another one sheet wonder. So that's what I did. Let me show you the other pieces of paper in this suite. Look how pretty the flowers. So there's flowers like a floral print on one side and then the other side is, some of them have like um, newsprint type look. Some are burlappy. It's just really pretty. It's soft. Um, I love the colors in it. So pretty. Yes. So, so I took this piece that has the different prints on it and I made a one sheet wonder just of those same sizes. So this is what it looks like. So I thought you could get eight different cards using um, this one sheet wonder. So if you just put some cardstock with it and a cute stamp set and maybe some ribbon then you can um, get a ton of cards out of this paper this designer series paper so I wanted to just kind of show you some of the ones that I came up with and um, some of the ideas that I had I paired it with the bloom and grow stamp set this is one I've used in the past too I love this stamp set but it has these really great sayings in it and they're large, which I love for One Sheet Wonder because I feel like when you use a One Sheet Wonder, the, the paper should do most of the work for you. And so you just want a cute, bold saying that can go with it. So I use this Bloom and Grow with it. Let me pull in the cards, some of the cards that I made. And you can see here. So this is these are the cards I made using those pretty flower floral prints. I made some in the five by three and a half size. You can see there. And I just used Mossy Meadow cardstock and Crumb Cake cardstock. And then vanilla is what I stamped on, very vanilla. And then I used Mossy Meadow ink to stamp with. So you can see all the cards I came up with. So pretty. And then I also added in this braided linen trim. I thought it paired really nicely with this paper. It goes with all the different designs, so that's cute. So then I wanted to show how you can use these same layout with the, the rest of the papers in the stack. Now, if you were to do eight cards per designer series paper in this, you would have like over 100 cards. It would be so many cards. But even if you just did one of each of the sheets of paper and did eight cards with it, you would get 48 cards out of these beautiful papers. And oh, they are so fun. So let me pull these cards in. So I just did the same layout with the other papers. And I, I just love paper that does the work for you. I think that that's the best paper to use when you just can stamp a little saying, a little greeting, and let the paper do the work. I think that is the way to go. So you can see all those different designs that you can get out of that paper. And it's so fast because it's just stamping a saying and putting it together. So I want to just put one of these together for you and show you what I did and how easy it is. So we'll start with this paper here. I loved these petals. I love this color. This is the Mary Merlot color that Stampin' Up! carries. 
and I'm just going to bring in my Mossy Meadows stamp pad and this saying, it says, you are simply wonderful. So cute. And I'm just going to stamp right in the center of that strip. And then you just put it across there and I added some ribbon. I added a cute bow just like that. Stuck it on and then put it on a card front and you're done. So easy and isn't that so pretty? Seriously, the paper does all the work in this in this designer series paper. It's so pretty. Um, and then I was thinking in this stamp set, I love this set. I've used it before. Um, and in this one, there's these beautiful flower details too. And you can't let those go to waste if you're going to get this stamp set. So I thought how pretty to make your own designer series paper, make your own using this set. So I love this paper that's in here. It's the burlap looking one on the back of the leaves and if you just take that and you take one of the flower details and stamp it down a couple times here like that. and then I'm going to just stick my foam mat underneath here so that I can go off of it few other details on here. Just like that. And even just with the green, that is so cute. But then, because I love our Stampin' Blends, if you were to color this and make your own paper. So I did that. Let me pull in the card that I made doing that here. So pretty. So I just used um, Cherry Cobbler and Mossy Meadow and Daffodil Delight blends. And I made my own DSP using this cute stamp set. So that's one way you could step up this card. So I'm so excited for this One Sheet Wonder. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put those below. Thanks so much and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.